And now we get to the number one battle. And look, we've seen a lot of Chicago. We've seen a lot of Scotland. We've seen a lot of Manchester. The first five weeks of the season, I feel like it's kind of like interchangeable, the same like four or five cities in these four spots. Not this week. We have uh, somebody coming out. And I, I, I meant to do research on this, but I think this is the first ever number one battle for Toronto. Yes, it is. Like, wait, what? Toronto's number one? Toronto comes out of nowhere this week. They send me this battle, and in the email, it's like, these are two of our newer people. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, I set my expectations appropriately. And then, man, did I just laugh the entire fucking time watching this battle. These are two people that I had never heard of before. They were not on my radar at all. And then they came in, and they had one hell of a battle. And it ends up... Uh, you know, in the ranking committee, overall scoring the most points, getting the number one battle. Let's jump right into it. This is uh, Will Christensen versus Rush Kazi. Kazi. Might have mispronounced that. My apologies. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, man, guys. Rush is so hot. <laughs> Look at her. She's beautiful. Honestly, she's such a fox. That was my impression of a man looking at Rush in the year 2009. <laughs> Rush's looks aren't just faded, they're blackout drunk. <laughs> she went from being... She went from being a total knockout to a total MILF. A mother I'd leave forever. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a good thing that homosexuality is legal in Canada, so Will can now safely go on stage and eat a bag of dicks on stage safely. Oh man, okay, Will claims to be fucking a lot, but the only thing he's fucking is stupid. <laughs> Will's actually hit on me before, it wasn't in 2009, this is very recent. <laughs> Less handsome, less successful Jeffrey Dahmer. You know, you know the saying, you know, where there's a will, there's a string of unsolved mysteries. <laughs> uh, Rush looks like what happens if you feed a gremlin after midnight. Don't worry about getting her wet, though. Her pussy hasn't been able to do that for 10 years. Damn. <laughs> He's just bad at it. Okay. Like, uh, <laughs> Will grew up evangelical Christian, which makes sense because Will looks like a cult escaped him. Wow. That's a good joke. Yeah. <laughs> Will dresses like he robbed a garage sale held by blind people. Um, <laughs> he looks like a grown up extra from Stranger Things. That's basically it. <laughs> I actually tried to think of a bunch of celebrity looks like jokes for Rush, but there wasn't really a lot of celebrities that she looked like. And I think that's because her style of beauty is really unique in the fact that it's ugly. <laughs> she does, she does kind of have a bit of a Princess Jasmine look, but instead of riding around on carpets, I think we're just going to find her rolled up in one one day. Let's go, man. Damn. He is not fucking around. This is Canada Jamar? Well, it was in Glee Club, which obviously just look at his stupid fucking face. <laughs> he was also a big theater kid. Did you know that? Uh, did you know that he was in Les Mis? He played a dirty French peasant and hasn't changed out of his costume since. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Rush over here is in an open marriage. Her, her and her husband are very sex positive. Sorry, her and her husband are very HIV positive. <laughs> Rush has so many sex infections that every time she gets a pap smear, it gets sent to Wuhan for further testing. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Will is incredibly anti-vax, obviously, just look at him. Um, Will's girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend, is also anti-vax, which is crazy to me, because the vaccine's not the worst thing that was in you, you know? Like, <laughs> Will was in you. She's right, I am a big conspiracy theorist, I believe in lizard people, but how could I not? There's one on stage with me right now. <laughs> Okay. All right. 
right, so back to Will's ex-girlfriend being anti-vax. I have to repeat the joke. No, you don't. All don't right. do this. It was just crazy to me because the vaccine's not going to be the worst thing that was in you because Will was in you, right? <laughs> I mean, he was soft, but you definitely felt a little prick for just a second. You know? And I know the trucker convoy people usually are called terrorists, but the only people Will holds hostage and bombs in front of are his audiences. So. <laughs> Russia's pussy sees more traffic than the TVP, which is really ironic because it could really use a gardener. Oh Hot local. And just like the Don Valley, it's mostly full of homeless guys. <laughs> Will has never hit puberty. <laughs> Which is great for him because now he looks like a make-a-wish kid that's about to get that final wish. You know? <laughs> and that wish is to not look like a used Q-tip with glasses. <laughs> Man, that was... It, it was really funny. That was awesome. Really good. Thank God. I, I you know, you, I watch so many of these every week. There's like between 12 and 15. Mm -hmm. and you sit down and it's a little bit of like a slog. By the time you get to like seven or eight, you're just like, Jesus Christ, another fucking battle. Like... And then you put on something like that and you're like, oh my God, like it just came out of nowhere. Will from the opening bell just took control. The, I love a joke that structurally is unlike anything else you'll hear that night. And when he did the whole, man, Rush is so hot. Isn't she a fox? Uh, that's my impression of somebody seeing her in 2009, <laughs> bro. And then he, he tagged that with like a couple of haymakers. Um, everything he did to me was like super funny. Even using the phrase in the setup, she has so many sex infections. Oh, like, so funny. I don't know why that was so funny, but it was. <laughs> I've never heard anybody call them sex infections. Yeah. Uh, it, she has a unique yeah. form of beauty. <laughs> in that she's ugly. <laughs> oh my God, Will. Yeah, dude. He, he did all the things. He, he attacked women's uh, looks. He attacked ageism. He <laughs> called her, I mean, they, uh, just many ways to uh, use misogyny uh, for good. Yeah, and and she was right there pretty much every step of the way. Yeah. I mean, to immediately come back and be like, Will hit on me very recently. It was not in 2009. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that that was great. Um, I thought the two things, and these are like, you know, these are from like rookie battlers, right? The two things that separated uh, them for me was um, they both had notes, but I felt like she was reading the jokes off of her phone. Yes. Whereas he just was like using his as like a guide, but he was delivering eyes to the audience, uh, not looking at the words as he was like, he wasn't reading them, you know? That battle gave me uh, the stand uh, Roastmaster vibes. Yeah, very That's, much so. It felt like just tight room. These guys are really good at writing jokes, obviously, so they had that confidence about it. Just like, we just wrote these today, and it's just like, they're just fire. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That was Roast Masters, and that that's that gave me that feel of just like Karen Feehan versus Scott Chaplin, Zach Amigo, the list goes on. And, and that's like, a very high compliment, by was, the way. That was an awesome If battle. you're not familiar with the Roast Masters era, that's a very high compliment that you can give a battle. Um, I, I thought the, the only downfall at all was when Rush ran the joke back and repeated it. And I understand you, the tag doesn't make sense without the joke leading up to it, but like, and I know he stepped on it with like his rebuttal, but as a note to battlers, once that moment is gone, it's gone. You can't ever just like repeat the joke from the top. I've, I've right. never seen that work. You can't repeat it. Yeah, it's not like hip hop. You can't chop and screw it. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no remix. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I mean, I, other than that, it was pretty much a flawless battle. I thought both of them were like hitting on everything. And, um, you know, kind of... Kind of exciting to see after Scotland, which does a thousand jokes, and then Chicago's doing seven, and with the riffs, it's more like 12. Just a nice, tight little, you know, five jokes back and forth battle. Dude, just uh, meet. Yeah. Just meet, but that was perfect. When executed well, it is, uh, it's really tough to beat. So congratulations Good. to Toronto for slaying the giants that are Chicago and Scotland and London and uh, grabbing. Welcome to it. They popped their cherry. Yeah. First number one battle. Um after 40 weeks, uh, really, really cool to see. And hopefully we're seeing two new stars in Toronto, in Rush, uh, in uh, in Will. And and we've saw, we saw a lot of rookies this week. So oh, yeah. the new class, uh, it was a very, very good week for them.